Okay, so you're gonna try to follow it this way. This is where I'm kind of stuck at. That's why I'm thinking we should have used a countertop one. We got two thumbs up though. Hey guys, if you're here, I'm just um, changing the tripod. Hey Shanti, we're about to cook some food, guys. We're about to make some um, autoimmune. Is it protocol? Make an autoimmune protocol meal prep gonna be great so hang on for a second guys we're gonna show you all what we're doing I'm gonna screw y'all back up in here just some technical things thanks for joining me whoever's here so far it's me and Prissy we're about to get silly lifestyle yes yeah, so it's called AIP which is autoimmune protocol um we our family we realized that we a lot of us suffer from autoimmune diseases mm -hmm. um yeah so we're changing how so we we're eat, trying to figure out how to what do flares better. us up we're trying AIP it helps with the AIP protocol it definitely helps with inflammation things like that so we're gonna be cooking meal prepping for the whole for 30 days what Thank you. Up? The lens was blurry because of my freaking ear. Oily ear. Thank you for looking at oh, whoever yeah, told me to wipe the lens. It looks a lot better. Sometimes. Ah, oh, thank you, Shanti. Sometimes you just need a little bit of a look out. So we're about to. So I'm, I'm going to start off by making the pork sausage. We're making homemade pork sausage patties from scratch. So what you're going to need, you're going to need some thyme, some sage, some ground pork, some so garlic, this is fresh. and salt is what you're gonna need for your pork sausage. Sage, we got this from Trader Joe's. Who out here loves Trader Joe's or shops at Trader Joe's or even knows what Trader Joe's is? Trader Joe's is great. So fresh sage, fresh thyme, ground pork. Right, so I already chopped up the um, sage and thyme. You wanna chop up more? You can't even want. I'm just gonna get the pork in here with the seasonings. So with the AIP, we have a list of we have a list of things we can and cannot have. And it's very limited to certain seasonings and stuff like that. Can't have no black pepper. I had a knife right there. But this is a better knife for like leverage. So I got my pork. I got my baby. I'm putting some garlic powder. This is garlic hmm. powder. What? I think I want to like blend and this up. Some salt. Yeah, I don't have. I'm gonna use your initial. With no, it's not. It's gonna make it mushy. No, it's not. Okay. Trust me. It's not. I know that he was gonna want to use my Nutribullet where I put my smoothies in there. <laughs> I mean, I use it for the chicken salad. This salt is not. This ha I have kosher salt. You did? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, I did. I used it for chicken. So that's the only seasons I want to put in here. He's going to blend up the sage and the thyme. Because we don't want it to be too coarse. Like, you don't want to be like, I'm eating an entire leaf inside of my sausage. You want it to be right. the flavor, but not the texture of a leaf. Where's that? Uh, the puppies in the strainer. It was just, it's, no, not the, the, the lid is in the strainer, too. You don't see? It wasn't working. Got it. You are yeah. So I'm putting this in here now, guys. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Come on over, be our neighbor. So while he's doing that, I'm gonna be working on the the, the breakfast hash. So we're gonna need some kale, some sweet potatoes that we got from Trader Joe's, some sweet potatoes. Pre-cut, they're rib ribbons and everything. <laughs> and you're gonna have some. <laughs> Open 
That's perfect. Whoa. That's very fragrant. So I'm gonna put some olive oil in the pan for the hash. All right, now instead of chunky leaves, we got... That looks like something else, guys. What it look like? Marijuana? Marijuana's. It smell like it, too. This all the same. You need a bigger bowl? No. All right, so we got the pork in there. You can go ahead and put that in there and mix it up real good. I'm gonna start sauteing the other stuff. Wash your hands. You better wash your hands. Please wash your hands. I'm gonna put some red onions in the pot. I mean, the pan. Start getting crispy for the hash. You said the hash is going to have sweet kale, potato, kale, sweet potato and, the sausage. and the sausage. All right, I'm about yes, to you can put mushroom too. I'm about to mix up the sausage right quick. Who is that? Hey, Joni. Hey, Joni. We just cooking. I'll bring y'all over here to see what I'm about to do. Yeah. Do. Ready? Boom. Now, I'm just gonna mix it all together. That smells good already. How are you guys feeling today? What's going on on Sunday, y'all? How y'all feeling? Feeling blessed? Feeling good? What's going on? I wanna thank y'all <laughs> for supporting my channel so far. I've been super encouraged to continue doing it, um, especially by the people who have been so kind and gracious and open and encouraging what are y'all eating today and y'all with this diet you can't have alcohol All right. All right, and i'm a drinker two handfuls of that. so it's a an interesting don't you need salt and pepper in here Are you put, no you can't put pepper in there oh we can't yeah, have pepper. I can put the garlic in the um, What's up? Give me a handful. What do you mean? A pound. No. No, I'm, I'm putting this in the head. Just give me a, a lot of it. I need a little bit more than that. More? Yeah. Um, just a little bit. And then I got the parchment paper right there that you can go ahead and start. Thank you, Stop Hating Blacks. I like the name. Yeah, Stop Hating Blacks. <laughs> just everyone just stop hating people. Period. That would be nice. Just be kind, be loving, be nice. Don't assume. And eat together. And have conversations. Let me get up. Oh. Am I done with that? Yeah, so I have the part. No, keep those gloves on because we got the parchment paper to make the patties. Let me put the camera up. Why are you bring it so long? Well, I wouldn't even see me mixing it. Hey guys, guess what comes on tonight? Part three of my journey to Kenya. <laughs> and this is gonna be more exciting. Like, I know it's exciting to watch travel uh, vlogs, but there's actually more happening in this one since I'm only on episode three. But episode three, there's a lot going on. Feeding some giraffes, exchanging currency. This is sausage. That's dope. Alright, so you can make the patties. Where's the parchment paper? No, he just wanna talk. I can't take the paper out with this gloves on. Why not? <laughs> now they're gonna see in my desk. That's why I had it but hold on. 
That was fun. I just wanted to see me mix them. <laughs> I'm gonna slap the hell out of DJ. Don't slap me, please. The whole hell. So, how big are the patties? My patties. I'm making patties now with the sausage that we just made. All right, so I am going to get a spoon to mix a up. patty. Oh, I can use these cones actually. Yeah. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm over here making. So I'm making a breakfast hash. So it's with sweet potato, kale, things like that, mushroom and the sausage. So this is what I'm making right here. So you'll eat this in the morning for breakfast. I got the sausage right here. Hey, Elliot family. This is kale. Sweet potato, onions, and mushroom, and sausage. I'm afraid to leave. I can't let her put me to leave. You make your panties. You try the patties look. So you got the fresh I sage. Before, We're figuring it out. It may, may be terrible. You got the fresh sage, fresh thyme, salt. You put garlic in there? Yeah. You want to put some more? Yeah. You think we need more salt? I mean, it's pork, so I imagine it has a good salt retention. Yeah. How are y'all feeling today, guys? What are y'all doing on this Sunday? It's Sunday, the okay. Lord's Day. Huh? I said it's Sunday, the Lord's Day. Yep. I went to a, a baby shower today of an old co-worker of mine. And, um... Uh, How was that? I got fired from my job. And to see some of my old co-workers, and also one of the girls that fired me... Oh, you got to talk about that. ...was like... Truly a blessing. Because Cassie, you know Cassie with the baby, right, the right. Cute, cute ass baby? She said, DJ, we miss you every single day. Dr. Gupta acknowledges the fact that your presence is not there. The patients know it. Even Cindy, the girl that was at the front desk with me, knows it. Mmm, this smells good. And they I miss them. They miss me and I kinda I kinda I don't miss the job anymore. Because I, I know God has moved me on to bigger and better things. However, I did have a I, what I thought was a family there. Hi. Same from the streets. So, yeah. Interesting experience. Yeah. Glad I saw them. And it was validation that... Uh, I didn't get I didn't get fired because I was a terrible employee. I got fired because people didn't know how to direct their power. Well, they do. That's what they said. They said that no one made people feel like I made them feel. I was the spirit of the office, you know, and. I always want people to come in this, any space I'm in. I want people to feel welcome, loved, and warm, and like they have a place to feel safe. And in mental health, that's so important. So important in mental health to make people feel safe. You know? You can train anyone how to do a job, but you can't train somebody's spirit or their soul or their give a fuck. Those with like ginger, ginger powder, oh, yeah. Asian style with the kale for the milk. Soy, ginger, and I know you have, your, you have your carrots to do your broccoli salad. Yeah, but I didn't get the. Let me get the. Let me get the. 
Thank you, Joni. Joni's the real one. Joni's the real one. And the Elliot family. Love you guys. Cook these now, or should I? I don't know. I mean, I so we don't really need these right now. Where's your scissors? Which is sweet potatoes, kale, onion, mushroom, and pork sausages. Any other kind of seasonings? Just garlic, salt. Quality ingredients, awesome, a quality meal. Thank you, Elliot family. We're trying to be quality around here, you know what I'm saying? We're trying or whatever. Wait, I'm, stop playing with me, DJ. You gonna you gonna you gonna make me act my color? You gonna what? make me act my color? Caramel, black, sweet. Stop, DJ. Y'all, see, brothers be doing the most, bro. Huh. Well, I'm gonna do that like an Asian style. So we got ground ginger. What you want? What you want? I'm a, I mean, I, let me do it. I, I got the pan right there. I'm saying you trying to entertain. This oh. Is a, Oh, it's a cooking channel. Oh my God. I never knew. I can't tell. Yeah, I'll leave this up, Wanda. Wanda, come get DJ. Come have some. All right, I need a little bowl. So this is the... Guys, I'll show you we, got, we got tuna steaks. Yeah. And I'm going to make this a ginger, like, I'm soy... Gonna I'm just going to make it taste okay. delicious. My. So just watch and learn. Watch and learn. Oh, somebody said, hey, sugar. Because <laughs> everybody can hear you being a brat. Thank y'all for coming in the lab. Everything's fine. Okay, should I try this or what? Man, you made it so good. I'm scared. What if it's nasty? I got a bowl to make my. I never made hash before. For the. Somebody come get him, cause he' about to get popped in the eye. Bop. Oh, what is that nice? Bop, bop, bop. You can't. Did you look at the list of what you can do? Shoot. That's what I said. You have the. Uh, the list of what you could use. Olive oil. I know that. Olive oil. Ginger, garlic, cinnamon, cilantro, sage, thyme, turmeric, rosemary, peppermint. So I can't use soy sauce? Nope. nope. I oh, I have, I have liquid aminos, which is soy sauce in there, over there. So, yeah! So, for this, I'm going to just put some olive oil in here. Yes, liquid aminos. You got to look for it. It's right some there. ginger. You got to move this. It's right there. Yes. Ooh, that smells good. It's an alternative soy sauce, but we could use this on our list. I guess you say this is an alternative for soy sauce? I need is it garlic paste. I got fresh garlic too. Yes. There's some seasoning. Alright, let's taste this. Yes. Some 
salt. All right, I'm going to taste this hash. I don't know. Yeah, it's just, it's some garlic <laughs> powder. See? It do smell like salt. See, I got your soy. Hey. Oh, my God. That ain't half bad. A girl did that. Wait, let me see that for a little bit. Come on now, Pete. Oh, no. Press the button. Press the button. No, it's definitely on the list somewhere. What's on the list? The aminos. What is the aminos? It's supposed to be like vegetable soy. It's like a kind of protein. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. So this is a vegetable hash. Huh? Interesting. Interesting. We'll see how this tastes. I well, certainly don't want to waste these. Certainly. Delicious. It's going to be. Oh, leave it uncovered, though, because they got to air out. Yeah, you know I mean? Somebody can get her. This is breakfast. Down goes Frazier. This is breakfast. Sweet. Honey's allowed. But that shit tastes a little strange. But it ain't horrible. No, it tastes the the flavors are on the aftertaste yeah. is what I'm worried about. Like you said, so it's a little off. Another hash. I wish I had some wasabi, but I don't know if we could have wasabi because it's spicy. Nope. How do you look, season? Oh, thank you. Yeah, New York, the kitchens would be small. I love New York, though. There's nothing like it. Hey, Prince Daniel. He says, What's up, Chris? Hey, Daniel. How you doing? How you doing? We'll see how that goes. Sixty-five people in here and only 20, twenty-four likes. Let's get, on, let's get them likes up. It's sixty-five like, we got like, in here. Like, 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 it should be sixty-five likes. Thanks, guys. Sixty-five people. 
That's amazing. That's my first one, y'all. Okay. Um. So right now, everything is kind of cooking. We got the uh, tuna in the oven. The What's that on the stove, Rajon? Mushrooms and spinach. Mushrooms and spinach, sauteing. And got the, got the hashes done. We're prepping that. Then I'm making, I'm making an the, egg roll in a bowl. Y'all see that? What the hell? You have an amazing week. Thank you, Coco. We're also making egg roll in a bowl. So it's um, everything that's inside of an egg roll. Inside of a bowl. That's gonna be good. It's gonna be real good. <sighs> what a weekend, right, love? It's been a, it's been a long weekend. Yeah, Watch the tuna, it dries out fast. That's true, though. That thing could be dry, real dry, like some sawdust. What y'all been up to this weekend? Thank you, Prince. I appreciate it. Hey, Jackie. How you doing? Oh, so this is like cooking. What are y'all cooking tonight for dinner? I want to know. I might get inspired and cook something. Cook a little something-something. Nothing but working. Seems like that's all we do these days. Y'all, don't forget to take time for yourself and hang out with yourself and do some stuff that you enjoy. Delivering mail. All right, I respect that. Editing videos and working, delivering mail packages, staycation. I like staycations. You're cooking Taco Bell. Tonight is our Africa vlog, guys. So tonight at 9 p.m., I'm dropping part three of Africa, my journey to Kenya. And this episode is definitely a little bit more exciting and... Um, Ooh, pasta with shrimp mm, and spinach. Delicious. Um, part three of my journey to Kenya is going to be awesome. I slacked and made pierogies. I cook every day and I had to take a break. You slacked and made pierogies. Does pierogies sound like that's not a slack job. I already had spaghettis and hot wings. Yummy. I love spaghetti and I love hot wings. Oh, yeah, spaghetti and hot, and hot wings. wings. I've never had spaghetti and hot wings. Oh, thank you. So yeah, part three is going to be a bit more adventurous. You're going to see more of um, my my stay there. You know, the first two episodes kind of getting you into the groove of my trip, showing you the travel. Thank you, ASMR with Fatina. I appreciate that a lot. Um, so yeah, part three is going to be more of me doing stuff like feeding giraffes, stopping by a market, going shopping with one of my friends there, my, my escort. Um, yeah, and me waking up my first morning in Nairobi, it's going to be cool. So stay tuned. <sighs> Prissy P? Is that Prissy P? Prissy P said, hi, family. Prissy P? Y'all, in Africa, this lady, she was selling some stuff, and she saw me and my dad. And for some reason, I guess African people think that Americans are rich. And me and my dad are bigger people too, so they think people who are bigger are rich because they eat well. And this lady was just like, big boss, hey big boss, hey big boss, you wanna buy something big boss? Hey big boss. <laughs> me and my dad buzzing out laughing. Hey, hey big boss, big boss, want to buy big boss? Nah, Big Boss don't want to buy. Hey, Big Boss. Oh, Sesame Ginger Salmon Steak sounds good. I'm going to look at the old comments. Sesame Ginger Salmon. We missed so many comments. Yeah. It's okay. Big Boss. Y'all, look at Sugar. 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 They waiting for the African vlog. All right, love, what's next? Um, basically, we're just, we're just talking, just, you know, do some, we call here with the call. Yeah, let's go talk to Prissy P a little we bit. We still have to wait, you know, we're waiting for things to get done. Yeah. Can you do LTE? Weird. 
Yeah. No, I was saying you're alive. You did something to the internet? No. I don't know. It's so weird because it's, it's like completely frozen. There you go. I love seeing the difference between Prissy, you, and... I love seeing the difference between you and Prissy videos. She's very loud and very quiet, and you're very quiet and calm. You got hella... They don't know me. Y'all think DJ calm. Oh! I'm loud. I'm loud and crazy. Okay, so... Are y'all... Do y'all see us? Because we had a little... You guys see us? We had a little glitch, a little malfunction. So, as I was saying before the internet... Okay. Thank you, Marisha, the realist. You're the realist and the bestest. Thanks, Jacqueline. Thanks, Amor. Thanks, Kumagato Awomi. Kum, Kumgato Awomi. 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 Um, I tried. I don't know. So, the scenario I'm setting up for y'all, I just need some advice. Or I just want an answer. Yeah, we can. If your girlfriend... If your significant other went to New Orleans and showed her boobs for beads, would you be upset? Or your wife. Or your wife. Like, say yeah, if they're having true. fun, you're expected you're expecting them to have fun. They're there for a girls' trip. Would you be upset if your girlfriend or wife showed her boobs for beads? I have my opinion of this because I don't think it's a big deal. Because it's it's her body. Um, also, am I going like the thinking about? Well, I broke up with my girlfriend because she sold her boobies for beads. Is like silly. It's like someone going to the beach and telling someone to put on to to not put on their bathing suit because it makes them feel uncomfortable. My husband would be who would be because I think it depends on what the relationship asks. Like whatever whatever is in your relationship, if. If that makes you feel uncomfortable in a relationship, that's fine. However, I'm 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 not traditional because I feel like breasts should not be sexualized, um, and that's the woman's body. Um, you literally have people out here showing. Yeah, thank you. It's not enough to break over, break up over. It's kind of silly. It's like those are boobs, and it's New Orleans. It's like you're going to New Orleans, right? So what is, is how that I to, feel about it? How do you feel about it? So I like. I feel like if your significant other know that you are crazy already, they know they like Rayshawn, he would expect me to show my boobs. It is disrespectful to him. It is like, you know, but he would be like, my wife crazy. She gonna show her boobs because she just like to have a good time. It's but, you, but you're not doing that to sexualize yourself. No, 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 no. But I'm just saying, it's just like, I just feel like, I don't know. It doesn't bother me that much. It's just, to be honest, it's a, it's not a big deal. Out of the grand scheme of things in life to be worried about, your person showing a body part that is theirs they were born with is right. not a huge deal. Think about it. It's like... But it might be to some people, though. Those people, I'm, I don't know. I'm They're entitled to their opinion. Yeah, They're entitled, but I just feel like it's silly. Well, like, okay, let's, let's say if it's your daughter that did it. That's, not, that's not my business. So if, you you're, if you're a consenting it. adult, I don't give a fuck what you do. I understand, but some people be like, well, would you allow your daughter to show her boobs? In but th that's like, I feel like that's a tricky question because like, this has nothing to do with my daughter. I know, but, but my I daughter's, uh, But I feel like if my daughter feels safe and, and she's going to make the best choice for herself, but I would trust... About the... Yeah. Do not talk about the... Yeah. Do not talk about that, yeah. I guess the daughter thing. Yeah, know. I mean, I feel like if, if it's... If, if that's her business and she feels comfortable, then so be it. Mm. Do I have to be proud of it? No, but do I have to accept that someone can do it? It's like people wanting to control women's bodies. It's not my body, you know, but yet men can, we can do whatever we want to on a trip and vacation and not worry about it. But we project what's, what's next is Badia complete seasoning. Badia, is it Badia? Mm -hmm. Somebody said, definitely not enough to break up over. Someone said, it's all in fun, I feel, like how people use the, to get their Jerry Springer, Springer beads. Um, someone says, what are you talking about? What's next, but a complete season? Okay. I don't know. I think you just gotta have, you just gotta pick and choose your battles. There's so many worse things for a person to do than just to show their boobs. There's people out here killing people, shooting people, giving people diseases, 
screwing around. It's just like, if that's the worst you can do, so be it. Uh oh, somebody said, I'm showing my New York apples. Hell yeah, show them apples, girl. <laughs> oh my gosh. Show your damn apples. Um, but maybe I'm a bit more of a free spirit, um, a free thinker. Um, it night or no. It is getting to be nighttime here. The sun is going down. Are these showing all the home loans today? Home mm -hmm. loan one, they showing two. one. I'm a Sagittarius. I'm a Sagittarius. Through and through. What's y'all signs? She's a Leo. I'm a Leo girl. But at night. But at night. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and fold those night. up or put it in one big bowl. And then I can start on my what's the name? Yep. What was that? That last bowl that Sagittarius show? all day, baby. Libra, I'm a Sagittarius. December 11th, y'all. My birthday's December 11th. I apply Pudi. I don't know what that means. Aquarius, Gemini. Carmen's a Gemini. Mookie's an Aquarius. One of my best friends is an Aquarius. Leo, my sister's a Leo. We get along well. We're just... What? Love yourself. December 10th. Heck yeah. December 3rd. Dope. K-Money is a Leo and I'm a Cancer. Okay. Aries, Sun, and Rising. Okay, Coco. Cancer, Leo. I am happy to talk to you. I'm confused. I'm new to the channel. Ha ha, David. Hey, David. Ha ha, David. Thanks to the channel. How close in age are you? We are 17 months apart. Annabelle Slate, when's your birthday, Annabella? I can help you out. You have no idea what it is. Pisces. Deshaun Stewart is a Pisces. Thanks, guys. So give me a thumbs up. December 4th. You're a Sagittarius, Annabella. Like me. Do not go out. Is it Corona? No, I'm not going out. Aries. Love Aries. Did you, do you have any kids? I don't have any children, but I do have a stepdaughter. Thanks for subbing to me. I appreciate that. October 28th. Scorpio. Or what's after Libra? They're cooking back there. What are y'all doing? They're making the they're making the egg rolls in a bowl. Yeah. Egg roll in a bowl. Egg roll in a bowl. We making egg rolls in a bowl. I'm sleepy. I'm not gonna lie, I'm sleepy. That's why I'm kind of calm. It's been a long weekend. Haha, <laughs> David's December 10th, for real? Dope. Thanks, Annabella. Appreciate that. For what are you making live? I'm trying to understand. Do y'all have t those wonton sticks to put in the egg roll and bowl for some crunch? Oh, we should have those, but we can't, we're not allowed to have those. So guys, now we're cutting up. So I got the sausage patties here. I'm gonna just stack them like that on the parchment paper. Hey guys, I don't feel that well. I'm, I'll be back. I'll try to be back, but I don't. I don't feel well at all. Okay. 
So we're doing an AIP meal prep, which is autoimmune protocol. Because we realize that we have a lot of autoimmune diseases in our family and I'm, I might have it as well and DJ might as well. We're getting tests done. Didn't realize how serious it was, guys. And it is very serious. Like if you suffer from a lot of stomach issues, like if you may have IBS, things like that, you might want to get tested to see if you have some type of autoimmune disease because it could be the things that you're eating. So basically that's what we're trying to, we're trying to figure out what's causing us to have inflammation. So we're switching our diet up a little bit. So that's what we're doing. Some soy. I got my meat chopper thing in that thing over there. Yeah, because my wife's gonna chop real little. And we need some apple cider vinegar. Sorry, y'all. DJ not feeling that great. So, Mary Sean gonna take a so, Something told me to go ahead and get started on this earlier. Should have just followed my first thought. So, we're making egg egg roll in a bowl. No carbs. Chopping up small though. You know what okay. It smells really good. We got red onion in here, ground pork, uh, apple cider vinegar, liquid aminos, liquid aminos, and scarlet, uh, paste, garlic paste. You put Oh, uh, ginger? Yeah, ginger. I, can you put the rest of this in there, babe? Yeah, we're here washing dishes, y'all. Okay. Oh. That ain't the best thing. Mix up the stuff in pots. <laughs> Why do you say that? I don't know. 
Oh, because you be talking about his. He be talking about his hand. Because he left handed. I hope it tastes good. Because, you know, when you start eating different, you know, stuff don't be tasting the same. Like, so you got to make it taste the best way you can on your new lifestyle change. some sweet potatoes earlier so these are already good to go so we'll have these for dinner at night with whatever type of meat you want they're already cream soft might be too damn soft so i'm gonna just put these in the refrigerator show you guys how the tuna look. Hey, my favorite guy I like to tell me, hey. The tuna steak's looking good. So this is how the tuna steaks look, y'all. We never made this before with the, you know, we use soy sauce. So this is all new. That's how they looking. Probably try to want to make it as flavorful as possible. I can turn this off because it's right now. Yeah, you can turn it off. Let me. I guess I'll do a taste test and see. Have, it's better to have stuff on hand. Like, you know how when you cutting back or you're on a diet or something? If you're on a diet and sometimes you just like, you wake up and you hungry. And sometimes you don't feel like cooking nothing. That's why it's always good to just have food already prepped in the refrigerator. So that it'll be easy for you to just stay on track, you know? 
to be really light for sure. Because it's easy to get off track. Very easy. That's true. Oh, good. Yeah, when you cut out salt and then, yeah, you go back eating it, I can only imagine how salty it is. <laughs> you shouldn't want nothing, girl. Say, can you put this in the garage? It's still kind of wet a little bit, though. All right. Hi. DJ not feeling good, y'all. He was up here. But he started feeling pretty sick. He said feeling nauseous. Oh, God. So, Lord, touch DJ right now, Lord. I'm just trying to wash up the dishes. So that way it's better to cook and clean. So you ain't gotta worry about nothing. You showed him this hash already, right? The who? The hash. No, I yeah, go over there and show them. Well at the end too, I'm gonna go and show everybody like everything we cook. Bring it too. The oh, okay. I think this is my own. Um, excuse me. So y'all, this is the hand Yeah, I put the lids on. Right here before I put the lids on them. I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't, it's, it's sweet potato, kale, mushroom, sausage, and red onion. Family said they wish they were good at cleaning as they could. Oh, I got, look, this we is. We ain't always the best. And clean yeah, the cookies. You know, it's hard. Sometimes it's hard to clean the cook. Dude, and I can't imagine y'all got kids, girl. It's hard. It's hard. All right, so let's see how this egg roll in the bowl came out. I oh, don't know, y'all. It's just, mm -mm. so that's how it look. Babe, mm -hmm. it tastes like an egg roll. We did that. That's gonna be a good lunch or dinner, or whatever. Oh my god, that's really good. Like for it to be such a y'all, because you know when you're used to seasoning stuff a certain way and then you kind of like trying to cut back. For us to have been limited on seasonings, this came out really good. And I know y'all said y'all want the recipe, so I put it in the comments. No, it came out really good for it to be limited. Like it's edible. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. And now I gotta try it. It's tasty. Yeah, so simple and it was very limited. Like, it was really good. I like it. Let me try it. Did you use the same for it? Mm -hmm. hmm? We gotta try to. I don't know how the tunas came out. Mm, the tunas are showing? Yeah. Yeah, my stuff filled with just a little. Nauseous. Oh, wow. Yeah, it came out better than I thought. Yes, it is. We got to do that again. Mm -hmm. Next week. I thought we some little But next time I put some little shredded carrots in it, too. Mm -hmm. To kind of give it like a more crunch. Yeah. So good. right here we have cucumbers for the week. This will be our little snacks. So at the end, I'll show you guys everything we meal prep. Hey, guys. So I'm like trying to feel better. I'll get there. Yeah, so that's that and i'll get a bowl so we got the well all we got so far we got the tuna steaks let's bring y'all over here so yeah that's how it looked y'all it came out really good this the tuna steaks i imagine if you're not doing anything like we're doing you put that over rice all right oh yeah they say hey guys what's on the menu we're meal prepping, y'all. So, hold on, give me one second. 
meal prepping. Um, we got some breakfast hash, which has sweet potato, spinach, mushroom, ground, homemade ground sausage, pork sausage. We got some cucumber cups. We got some egg roll, egg roll in a egg roll in a bowl. So it's pretty tasty. I mean, this is tasty. Like it's and it's innovative and new and 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 good for you. So. That's the best part. Ugh. Well, just stay back from the food, just in case it's something else. <laughs> but I'm gonna be like, did you even know this channel? But you sick, I don't want you to, I don't know. Yeah, I'm sick like that. I just think it's a combination of the day, going to the bar, and then being out in the hot sun. Yeah, you know damn well that hot ass sun, especially if you was at the bar. But meal prepping can be fun. Alcohol, you know, and it's you know, at the same go. time. You no, know, it don't. That shit don't make me pass out one day. I, for real, you can't do that. Who was we? No, it? I, I, who was both of them? No, I remember we was in Louisiana. Yeah, that, uh-uh. When I was, uh... Oh, yeah, we had daiquiris? Uh-uh. Yeah. And in the heat? Yeah, in the heat. I was, that sweet plus I drew, that liquor? I drove nine. Was it nine? Bill Light Platinum's, and then they had an extra large daiquiri. Sean was sick. I was outside yeah. in the 100. You had nine? Yeah. Nine oh, yeah. yeah, I was drinking with a sa uh, sailor. <laughs> so, <laughs> I know, and then we went to the daiquiri bar, and I got an extra large daiquiri in, in, in Louisiana. They don't taste like liquor, and it hit me, and I was outside asleep in the 110 degree weather. Babe, I could put some more in that one, because I only got like a pinch left, so it's like I might as well put. Yeah, one this one? That one right there. You won't have to open it, because my fingernail is weak. Oh, I got it. I'm impressed with this, y'all. Y'all, I'm gonna put. We're gonna put this recipe somewhere, or we'll make it again for a video. And that way, you guys. Oh, we, oh, oh, we might put it in the description. I mean, that's what I might just make it for them. Oh, yeah. Oh, she hungry. Oh, she want her toy. She's barking at me. I'm I'm making that again. I'm excited to eat this for lunch tomorrow. Show you guys in a second. I tried to, where's the lid to this one? It'll, oh, right here. So the only seasonings that we use all day was ginger, garlic, garlic salt, liquid aminos, gar. gar I already said garlic. That's it. We use that for all of these recipes. Let me show you. I'm gonna show you what we got. So we got the cucumbers, we got the breakfast hash right there, and we have the egg roll in a bowl, and then we also have some mushrooms and spinach. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. But I already put them in the refrigerator. I ain't let them sit down too long. The liquid amino is not that bad. What do I think? You taste it this, this stuff? What? You taste it the same as some Not yet. It's a little small piece in there. Don't set me up for the okey doke. Get the camera back. So I'm going to be trying the tuna steak. Let's see. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It hit my good, dude. She was worried about it. So yeah. Yep. I think you wanna try it. Let's take DJ. Man, he got a piece for you right here. Some pieces right here. No, no. 
not. Came out better than what we thought. Yeah. I know with that leak thing, you know, you definitely got to uh, put some heat to it. I might put a little, little lime juice on mine. Yeah. And a little bit more honey. Yeah. But ain't bad. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, guys. That's pretty much this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry that DJ didn't feel good. But we'll see you guys in the next video, the next live. on Hopefully, next Sunday, we'll see you guys with our Bye next guys. meal prep. We love you guys. Gang, gang. I mean, I don't don't let, him, let him do his um, outro. Would you like to take Hey guys, thanks for watching. Bon appetit. Enjoy yourselves. Have a good one. Love you all. All right, y'all.